Miss Eve, a nice older woman, was sitting in my office. She reminded me of my grandmother with her pastel blouse, jeans, and loafers. She had just seen her primary care physician and needed me to connect her to a cardiologist. I said, what about Dr. Fisher? He's over on Beachmont. She said, no, I can't get there. That place is too far from the bus line, and I already have to walk over a mile from my house to the nearest bus stop. I continued to type into my computer. What about Dr. Yang? You can see her on Tuesday. No, that that's the day I went to the food pantry, and if I didn't get there by four, I wouldn't have enough food for the rest of the week. By the end of my conversation with Miss Eve, it had been four hours, and we were nowhere. We kept hitting these stumbling blocks, and ultimately, sadly, Miss Eve left my office that day without getting connected to a cardiologist. Those stumbling blocks, those disruptions in care, are health-related social needs like the lack of transportation and food insecurity. Miss Eve is just one of the 74.4 million people nationally facing this problem every day. My work as a patient care advocate exposed me to Miss Eve's situation far too often. It inspired me to get my PhD in public health, and I've been working and researching in the field for over five years, and this problem is only getting worse. Our nation is sick and doctors can't fix this problem. According to the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, 80% of our health outcomes are related to our social needs, and there's a disconnect between our health care and social service system. Doctors aren't equipped to prescribe a solution for health-related social needs. It's like we have a first-world health care system, but we only have the access to third-world social services. We then expect our most vulnerable and ill-equipped neighbors like Miss Eve to navigate these two systems. This is immoral and reprehensible. We must disrupt this system. There is a solution. Collaboration and integrating technology to connect these complex systems. I work as program manager of a new technology called GenH Connect. GenH Connect links our electronic medical records to our social service system. Technologies like this are being tested in over 20 communities all over the country. It uses data and logic to connect these vastly complex systems. And it ensures that all individuals have the opportunity to achieve their optimal health. With technologies like this, patients and families are provided access to reliable transportation so they can make it to all of their doctor's appointments. And people like Miss Eve never again have to choose between eating and getting proper health care. I don't know what happened to Miss Eve, but here's what I do know. When we solve this problem, social services will know about Miss Eve's health concerns. The health system will know about her lack of access to transportation and these two systems will be seamlessly intertwined. We often look at people like Miss Eve and think, why don't they do more? Why don't they care? Why don't they take better care of themselves? It's often not a thing of what they want. It's often the systems and the stumbling blocks that have been put in their way. With technologies like Gen H Connect, we're working to disrupt the old system and create a new reality where every individual receives the respect and quality health care they deserve. Thank you.